This is Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Taurus from April 29th to May 13th, 2022. Let's get to it. I'm going to pull and meditate on your first spread so that you can be part of the vision. Now, what have we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Six of Cups. Nice star. Ace of Swords. <laughs> and the Emperor. This is interesting here. Someone from the past is returning. There was a very beautiful moment you had with this person, but it's... It's not like they were really in your life for too long. They're coming in to... It's almost like they're coming in to say something to you. Something very important. It is beautiful energy. So it's very welcoming for you. Let's do a, a meditation here. <laughs> do a vision. Bear with me. Sometimes it takes a moment for me to get centered. I'm seeing a... It's a canoe. This came very quickly. This person may be coming in very quickly because the vision is just right on par. It's like right away. I'm seeing oars. I'm seeing the canoe. It's a hot, sunny day. It's, it feels like a date. It, that's what it feels like. I'm not really getting anything else. It's, it's, it's just that. All right, I got my eyes open now. I wonder if the, this was a vision from the past. Well, let's clarify what, what, what they have to say to you here. What is this about? For you, reverence. For them, equilibrium. This is someone who is very important. It's, it's someone who, they're like at the center of things. They're just a very dominant sort of energy. You have a lot of reverence, a lot of respect, but it, it's kind of like, it's a shared respect. They, they see you as their equal. Perhaps they want to bring something back from the past. This could be a love interest from your past. They have something very important to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's like coming in very quickly because the vision was just as soon as I closed my eyes. It's like that's where it was. Hmm. Uh, let's clarify the Six of Cups. What is this about? This is your energy here. It's a very good energy. Two of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. Somebody really misses you here. I feel it's it's the same person. It's almost like this sense that, that something wasn't allowed into your life in the past. It's very fond memories. Whoever this person is, it, it's like you're, well, they're, they're, 
They're thinking about you. It's definitely coming from them. They, they want some sort of union. They want to speak some sort of truth, something you, you've never heard before. You touch this person on a very sentimental level. So, something really got into their heart space and, and it, it's, it's never really left. In a way, it almost seems like it, it's, it, it, it's become more solid. It, it's, it's gained more structure. I want to clarify this two of swords here for you. Your energy is, is very much pulling them in, whether you know it or not. But it's, it's something about you that is... And, and this isn't someone that's pulled in very easily. Like, this is an emperor. Normally, people go to the emperor. Let's clarify this two of swords. For you, constancy. Yeah, it's never left. For them... Art, beauty, they saw something so beautiful. You shared such a beautiful moment. I'm unclear if, if that boat ride was from the past or from it's coming in. It was just, it was, I didn't see any people, but it was like a boat in the middle of the lake. It was like I was sitting on it, looking forward. And like I, I, the oars, I got a good glimpse of the oars. The one or, <laughs> it was just the one or, but yeah, very sunny, hot day. Maybe that's something that they've always thought about. If this is a past or they, they want to do this with you. It's almost like you blocked this person out of your mind, but they, they've never stopped thinking about you. It's interesting because constancy with the two of swords. Hmm. What, what are they going to be saying to you? Let's figure this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lovers. That flew out. Like crazy. The Five of Pentacles came out in reverse, but I'm not sure if that's the card. The two of the lovers. The hangman. And the world. This is all fifth dimensional energy here. What they're going to be saying, it's more on like that level of something that's pulling them to you. It's like, like this is someone who normally attracts people. It's like this energy of the world. It's, they have this gravitation to them, the emperor, but they've, it's like no matter how much they attract people to them, you're the one that they've always kind of hung on to. It's like this energy of, it's, it's very purposeful. Like what they're saying, it, it's not meant to be the fact of the matter. It's more on this energy of somehow I feel this pull, my thoughts go to you sort of thing. The lovers, they see you as, they, this is someone that wants to, to date you. There's a lot of mutual attraction here. There was something, it was something from the past. I don't feel that, that you really had this person in your life for too long in the past, but it was a very beautiful moment. Let's clarify this, this lovers here. For you, consideration. For them, mortification. <laughs> it's funny because the, what they're explaining to you, it's like they, they've tried not to think about you. Like it's like they tried everything they could to 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 move on with their lives. They just they can't. 
and in a way for them it's it's a mortification that they, they they can have they can pull in whoever they want but the one person that they want it's like they have to go to and they have to ask it's like you're the one that that they want so they're coming in to ask you and it looks like they they they're really opening up here Have you known this person from the past? Let's ask that. Is this someone that you knew from the past? Yeah, I feel it's coming in very quickly. So in the next few days, is this somebody that you've known from the past? Three of Cups? Oh, social. The Knight of Swords, fast movement. And the Temperance card. Yeah. They, they came into your life very fast, it, it was like a social environment. Like, like you may have met this person through some social social endeavor. It was that, it was just like so, it was a, a fun time. They came to you, but it was like, it wasn't the time for it then. Temperance, it's kind of like this moment that, that, that they stole and, and then that moment just lingered on in their heart. It was very beautiful. Let's clarify this temperance energy. Like everything is done in divine timing. This is guardian angel energy. For you, ties. For them, yearning. Ever since that moment, whatever it was, it's like they've been tied to you. Yearning. Their guardian angel may be speaking to them. It's like that's what's really triggering their thoughts and they can't explain it. It's like these spiritual whispers that that keep keep this connection in their mind, in their cognitive mind. They're always thinking. They're always yearning for this. So expect to receive some communication. <laughs> and I feel it's coming in fast. All right, in the extended, we'll go to the random love generated questions because this is clearly a love interest. We have a lot of cups. Um, we'll ask, is there a third party influencing this connection? The only third party I, I could see is if you count the spiritual party because there's a lot of spiritual rep spirits kind of around this, around this coming together. Um, We'll ask, how did the love interest view you in the past? That's interesting that that came up. What steps will your love interest be taking towards this connection at this time? Yeah, they're coming in to say something. And we'll ask, what is the love interest looking for from this connection? Hmm. I like this. All right, the link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.